half-wave rectifier is defined as a type of rectifier that only allows one half cycle of an AC voltage waveform to pass, blocking the other half cycle. Half-wave rectifiers are used to convert AC voltage to DC voltage and only require a single diode to construct. A rectifier is a device that converts alternating current to direct current. Place needed components in worksheet. First, we are going to design and calculate a simple half-wave rectifier circuit without a filter capacitor. For this circuit, place a 230 RMS voltage source, a 1N4-007 diode and 1K resistor. Place voltage and current probes to measure output voltage and current. Input side of this half wave circuit contains a 230 volt voltage source. The maximum, that is peak voltage of this source equals 230 multiplied by square root of 2. Output side of this half wave circuit contains a single load resistor. We know the output voltage contains AC components and DC components. The RMS value of output AC voltage equals input maximum voltage divided by 2 and the average or DC value of output voltage equals input maximum voltage divided by pi. This is the output voltage view in oscilloscope. The output AC RMS voltage in oscilloscope is equal to 162.5 volt. And the output DC voltage in oscilloscope is equal to 103 volt. When an input AC voltage is applied, during the positive half cycle, the diode is forward biased and allows electric current. This current reaches across load resistor and builds up a positive half cycle. The peak value of this positive voltage is equal to the peak value of input voltage. During the negative half cycle of input voltage, the diode is reverse biased and blocks electric current. So during the negative half cycle of input voltage, output voltage is equal to zero.
typical capacitor filter circuit can be done with a capacitor as well as load resistor. The rectifier's exciting voltage is given across the terminals of a capacitor. Whenever the voltage of the rectifier enhances, then the capacitor will be charged as well as supplies the current to the load. At the last part of the quarter phase, the capacitor will be charged to the highest rectifier voltage value that is denoted with Vm and then the voltage of the rectifier starts to reduce. As this happens, the capacitor starts discharging through the voltage across it and load. The voltage across the load will reduce little only because the next peak voltage occurs instantaneously to charge the capacitor. This procedure will repeat many times and the output waveform will be seen that very slight ripple is missing in the output. Furthermore, the output voltage is superior because it remains significantly close to the highest value of the output voltage, the rectifier. With a heavy load, the filter capacitor becomes discharged between rectified voltage peaks, resulting in greater ripple than before. If less ripple is desired under heavy load conditions, a larger capacitor may be used. As an example, a capacitor of say 1000 microfarad will charge as the voltage increases. But due to high charge storage capacity, it will discharge slowly. As shown, between two peak values. Thus, it gives output voltage in small range, like 5 volt to 6 volt for 6 volt output or 8 volt to 9 volt for 9 volt output. If you use a capacitor with low capacitance, it will discharge quickly and give the output voltage in a wide range, like 5 volt to 9 volt for 9 volt output. In half wave rectifier, the conversion of alternating current AC into direct current DC is not efficient. Half wave rectifier allows either positive half cycle or negative half cycle of the input AC signal and the remaining half cycle is blocked. As a result, a large power is wasted. Also, the output direct current, DC, produced by the half wave rectifier, contains large ripples. This ripple voltage fluctuates with respect to time. So it is not suitable for practical applications. To overcome these problems, we use filters at the output. Even though, we use filters at the output. The DC signal obtained at the output is not a pure DC. Furthermore, the power loss is high in half-wave rectifier. The working of the half-wave rectifier is that only one half cycle, either positive or negative, of the input AC current will charge the capacitor, but the remaining half cycle will not charge the capacitor. When input AC voltage is applied, during the positive half cycle, the diode is forward biased and allows electric current. Whereas the other half wave blocks electric current. On the other hand, during the positive half cycle, the diode is forward biased. It means, allows electric current. And during the negative half cycle, diode is reverse biased. It means, blocks electric current. During the positive half cycle, the diode current reaches the filter and charges the capacitor. However, the charging of the capacitor happens only when the applied AC voltage is greater than the capacitor voltage. Initially, the capacitor is uncharged. That means no voltage exists between the plates of the capacitor. So when the voltage is turned on, the charging of the capacitor happens immediately. During this conduction period, the capacitor charges to the maximum value of the input supply voltage. The capacitor stores a maximum charge exactly at the quarter positive half cycle in the waveform. At this point, the supply voltage is equal to the capacitor voltage. When the AC voltage starts decreasing and becomes less than the capacitor voltage, then the capacitor starts slowly discharging. The discharging of the capacitor is very slow as compared to the charging of the capacitor. So the capacitor does not get enough time to completely discharge. Before the complete discharge of the capacitor happens, the charging again takes place. So only half or more than half of the capacitor charge 
get discharged. How exactly? The capacitor filter removes the ripples in the signal. The pulsating direct current produced by the half-wave rectifier contains both AC and DC components. We know that the capacitor allows the AC components and blocks the DC components of the current. When the DC current that contains both DC components and AC components reaches the filter, the DC components experience a high resistance from the capacitor, whereas the AC components experience a low resistance from the capacitor. Electric current always prefers to flow through a low resistance path. So, the AC components will flow through the capacitor, whereas the DC components are blocked by the capacitor. Therefore, they find an alternate path and reach the output load resistor. The flow of AC components through the capacitor is nothing but the charging of a capacitor. Thus, the filter converts the pulsating DC into pure DC.